because it's Scotchy <laughs> and it's all about blockchain. Have you invested in any cryptocurrency? <laughs> guest today, MSP Paul Wheelhouse, who is Minister for Business, Innovation and Energy for the Scottish yes, Government. Right. Now, the Scottish Government want to create economic growth in Scotland. How does the tech industry contribute to this? Uh, well, it contributes really strongly. It's, it's obviously a, a rapidly growing sector and it's mm -hmm. now uh, contributing about £4.5 billion pounds of gross value added, or GDP if you like, mm -hmm. uh, annually to the Scottish economy. And more than 70,000 people employed in the sector, some estimates up to 90,000 employed in the sector. And uh, we have uh, seen 43% uh, growth in the number of tech businesses in Scotland, which is the fastest growth outside of London. So it's a very uh, dynamic sector mm -hmm. of the economy and it enables other parts of the economy to function well as well, of course, because tech contributes to the growth of other sectors. Yes, the Digital Strategy for Scotland talks about reforming public services. What do improved public services look like to you? Hmm, uh, that's a good, very good question. I, th I think we need to make sure that uh, they're accessible. I mean, mm -hmm. we, we're obviously trying to go down uh, to a great degree of uh, effort in, in making services more able to be accessed by members of the public wherever they are in the country, sort of digitally, obviously. Um, have to be able to offer those services um, on an open way to, to individuals wherever they are in Scotland. Mm -hmm. And so, um, digital technology kind of really can underpin greater efficiency in delivery of public services, greater collaboration. So uh, the technology allowing people to, um, to to engage with each other, to discuss matters of importance, to to manage businesses and organisations collectively, not necessarily having to be physically in the same place. Mm -hmm. We're obviously trying to um, uh, use digital technology and how we promote Scotland as a country, how we. Uh, uh, engage in, in running government and, and um, be more efficient ourselves, which we can mm -hmm. always do, do better at. So it's a hugely exciting opportunity and I would hope that Scotland as a country that is very much at the forefront of a number of the key areas of innovation and digital um, technology uh, can really uh, grasp the nettle and, and harness that opportunity and uh, be seen globally as a leader in this area. Yeah. You talk about innovation a lot. What does innovation mean for wee businesses like Wallet Services? Uh, well, innovation can be really uh, hugely uh, important for smaller businesses. Obviously, it's a great opportunity mm -hmm. for businesses like Wallet Services to, to actually um, access parts of the economy sectors where companies are, are needing to innovate themselves to change their business models, uh, reform services, or the way they deliver their uh, business to their customers. So obviously businesses like Wallet Services can really access that market through means like CivTech, which is a platform we've yeah. developed to, to help um, SMEs to access public procurement opportunities to actually help the public sector take the benefit, if you like, of that expertise that's grown up in the private sector uh, and translate that into use of, of that technology and, and innovation for public sector delivery. If it's, if it's valued by, by the, the rest of the industry, maybe of having a Scottish Government um, you know, as, a, as a client or, or the NHS yeah. or some other part of the public sector, can often be a very powerful kind of bit of branding that helps yes. the company get further work. Yeah, we, we definitely we definitely find that. I'm a bit of a champion for women in the tech industry, whether it's programming, marketing or sales. How do we attract more women into the sector to aid with digital diversity and skills? It's, it's, it's obviously proving quite a challenge. It's a really important challenge though that we have to meet. Um, because if we're going to, we know that if we're going to achieve our full economic potential, we mm -hmm. have to have uh, women being engaged and embraced in the economy more, more uh, generally, but specifically in areas like science, technology, engineering, math or STEM. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really important that we up our game. Uh, something like 18% I think of, of uh, people in the industry are women, whereas it's 39% I think more generally in the economy, so we're not doing as well in technology as we should do. Okay. Uh, I, I meet on a day-to-day -day basis going around um, in my ministerial role many exceptionally talented women in, in all areas of science, engineering and, and, and uh, business and it's about trying to make sure we identify those individuals who are willing to come forward as ambassadors to provide, if you like, role models um, for, for other young women coming through. Have you invested in any cryptocurrency? I haven't yet, no. Yep. Oh. Uh, I, I must, I must apologise to, to your viewers for that. <laughs> neither have I, neither uh, but I'm I. hoping to learn more today and, and I, th I think there's obviously an opportunity in the technology uh, to provide different means of payment services and, mm -hmm. and um, uh, how, how public sector and indeed private sector services can, uh, can work together using this technology. So